Assalamu alaikum. Hello, ahlan wa sahlan, bonjour, and welcome to the second episode of The Bearded Bakers. Uh, I've got a dish which I've named uh, Yumi Yorkshire Chicken. Uh, it's not inspired by anything in Yorkshire, but all the ingredients are, well, most of the ingredients are sourced uh, from Yorkshire. And it's a very simple dish, and it will only take you 10 minutes to prepare and actually only probably 10 minutes to cook. For this dish, you will need the following ingredients. If you're going to, now, sorry, this is based on either one very hungry person or two people. Um, so what I've got, I'm basing it for, for one very hungry person. So what you need for this dish is one piece of uh, chicken fillet, uh, a breast piece, it's probably going to weigh approximately 350 grams, uh, round about there. The sm if they're smaller chicken fillets, then you will want probably two pieces. Um, if you want to get it already diced, I would ask you to ask your butcher uh, to cut it into small, small pieces, probably two centimeters maximum width and depth. Um, the smaller it is, the better it is. And also for this dish, uh, you will need some sea salt. Um, I've just put it into this nice fancy plate I bought from Turkey. Um, some sea salt, fine sea salt is probably the best, but I mean normal salt is completely fine. And then you need some white pepper, uh, ground white pepper, um, which is available from anywhere really, more supermarkets. And then you need some flour, some plain flour. Please ensure it's not self-raising flour, it needs to be plain flour. And the secret ingredient to the, to the dish is, I'll come closer now so you can see it, it's Schwartz Chinese Five Spice Blend. So this is the ingredients for the seasoned flour, that's it. We've got flour, salt, white pepper and Chinese Five Spice. Okay, also for the dish you'll need some peanut oil, I mean I've got some roasted peanut oil here, it's very nice, but you have to ensure that you use peanut oil. If you can't get peanut oil, then t try and find uh, like a stir fry oil or something. Uh, please ensure it's not olive oil. Olive oil has a low boiling temperature. You need for the sauce at the end, again, three simple ingredients. You need some soy sauce. Um, you can use any type of soy sauce. It can be light or dark or it can be extra brutal, however you like. You need some soy sauce. Uh, you need some distilled malt vinegar, very cheap. Uh, adds a brilliant taste. Um, you need some honey, any honey, but make sure it's not blossom honey. Blossom honey is not the same as normal honey. It can be dark, but make sure it's not set. It needs to be runny. And then, for the garnish, you need uh, a red chilli. Obviously, if you're going to cook for more, just uh, if you're going to cook, for example, for three or four people, just double the amounts that you see here. You need the red chilli. You need a few spring onions and you need some garlic, uh, some cloves of garlic. Right, these are all the ingredients that you need uh, for this dish. And I would recommend you to use a wok. Um, you need something that gets hot very quickly. If you can't, if you haven't got a wok at home, I'm sure most uh, people may have a karai So home. that's all the ingredients you need. Let's get cracking with the cooking. So, you need three heaped tablespoons of flour, which I'm just putting into this mixing bowl. Now you add one teaspoon of sea salt to this. And now you add three quarters of a teaspoon of white pepper to this. Now for the Chinese fire spice, you want to add just about half a teaspoon of Chinese fire spice. Okay, now that's your flour done. Okay, now that's done. All we need to do is add the chicken. Okay, now that's added. And all you do is you give it a good mix. I'm just doing this and you want to ensure that each piece of each piece of chicken is evenly coated. And the wetness from the chicken will act as an adhesive. Um, 
to ensure that the seasoned flour stays on the chicken. Okay, what you want to do is, I mean if you've got more, I'm only showing you this so if you ever do more, you can add everything in here. Now what you do is, enter the contents into the box. Because we're going to double dip this chicken, I'll say marinade, but marinade is not the right word. We're going to double dip this chicken and we will shake off any excess flour at the end. So, once you put it into the box, you give it a bit of a shake. I mean, the more chicken pieces you have, the better. And this will ensure that your chicken will stay crispy through cooking. That's a chef Q-tip for you right there. Okay, that's this done. This are already prepared. I've just taken off the outer layer of this spring onion. So what you need to do is, you need to take the hairy bit off. And, I mean, you can use these bits, but I'm not fond of them because they get really soft. So where it just begins to branch out, I'll cut that off. I mean, you can use it, it's not really, it's entirely your own choice. And then I just slice it at a slant. So well, that's done. I mean, the chilli likewise, you can just slice it in, um, I mean, I've sliced it as such, uh, so it's quite thin. Uh, I've just finally chopped some garlic. Um, just a, a few tips about cooking chicken or any meat in general. Uh, when you add something into a hot pan, the temperature of the pan drops quite rapidly. So if you're cooking on a high heat, uh, it's best to, best to add pieces at a time. You don't want to add everything together, which is why I'll be adding the chicken individually. But once you've added everything, the temperature does drop. So you want it to come back to its original heat, and then you can play around with the heat if you want to drop it or whatever. Grab our chicken, just give it a final shake. A good shake, shake it all about. Do the hokey cokey. shake it all about. Oops, it easy. So and then you can see it's all coated. So I'm just going to push all that chicken to the side. Again, see, you've got the sticky bit there. You just need to coat in a bit of flour. It's all done. So we just add all this to the side, shake off any excess flour. Now it's time to add the oil. I'm just going to reduce the heat slightly down because I don't want it to start burning. Because the pan is really, really hot at this stage. And then you just want to add some oil. I'm probably adding about one and a half to two tablespoons okay, so i think that's about the right temperature so in whatever manner you want whether you want to do it clockwise anti-clockwise you just add your chicken pieces now if you have got some chicken pieces that are thicker than the other pieces then you just add them towards the middle because that's where um, the chicken will cook the quickest so you need to try and get the chicken pieces as even as possible to ensure even cooking. That's the trick when it comes to cooking meats such as chicken or fish. I mean, in regards to this dish, you could probably do it with fish. Uh, fish is a bit more delicate. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing it with any red meat. Um, but you can even try doing it with potatoes or something. I mean, it, it would work. As the chicken is cooking above, you will see the chicken going white. And that's the sign of the chicken cooking. Uh, it's one of the benefits of cooking in a wok. Also, you don't want to turn the chicken over unnecessarily. As the chicken is cooking, let it cook for a good two to three minutes, and then you turn it around. But once you've turned it around, leave it so it has a nice golden color. Because you want the color to look really appealing. So, this is cooking away nicely. I'm just gonna reduce the heat to turn some of the chicken around. As you can see, a really nice colour on there because it gets to it. A really nice colour and it's really firm as well. Look at that, stunning colour. If it looks good, wait till you eat it. Okay, so I'll just turn all these over. Since the chicken is cooking, you have to understand because we're going to add some vegetables and garlic, the spring onion, chilli, garlic, and we're going to add the sauces, you don't want the chicken to be fully cooked. Because if it's fully cooked and then you add the vegetables and then you add the sauces, it's going to be really dry. I mean, the chicken is going to be overcooked. So before the chicken is fully cooked, you want to add the garlic and the vegetables and then you want to add the sauces just to finish it off. Otherwise, you're going to have really dry chicken in it. The more you toss your chicken around, the more it will cook evenly. Okay, so now, I'm going to think of adding my 
garlic. You want to add your garlic about 45 seconds. I think like if I was to leave it now for a minute, the garlic would burn, it would become brown, it would become it would become bitter. You want to keep tossing it about to get your chicken. If you have a look now, if you look at the chicken, the chicken is nicely coated with garlic. So nicely coated. And it's not it's not gone dark at all. I'm gonna put it on full heat now. I'll give that about another five, ten seconds. And now it's time to add the spring onions. I'm not gonna add all what I what I had. But I think compared to all your pieces of chicken, how much of a piece of chicken you had, half the amount of spring onions. And then again, same for the red chili. I mean obviously if you like more chili, you can add more. Now the tip is here, if you're going to cook it like this, the spring onion will retain their bite. They won't become soft and the chilli will release it all. It becomes really aromatic in the kitchen. Okay, also most of the oil has evaporated. That's the stage you want to be at. If the oil hasn't evaporated, then increase the heat because you don't want oil to remain when you add the vinegar and the soy sauce and the vinegar. Now we're about a minute away from finishing this dish. I'm just going to put it back on the heat. Normally I don't take it off the heat as much, but just you know, to show you the progress of the chicken, uh, I've been doing that. So again, if you press the chicken, it's really firm. That means the chicken's cooked. Also, it tells you that it has a really nice crispy coating. Just feel it. Quick toss quickly. Okay, I don't normally measure the vinegar. What I do use is the cap. I fill it up to about half. It's about half a cap. And I use approximately a tablespoon of soy sauce. Again, it's up to your personal preference. And honey, I've never measured to really, so I can't really say. Okay, so garlic was in there for about 45 seconds, and this has been cooking for about a minute and a half. Now it's time to add um, the sauces. So, add the vinegar, add it around the sides. Now what I'm going to do, you need to do it in quick succession. So add the vinegar around the sides, not directly on top of the chicken or the vegetables around the side so it creates a steam. That's good. That's done. Now soy sauce as much as you want. That's done. And now honey. Honey as much as you want. I'm going to add about that much. Just, just a touch of sweetness. I'm going to toss it about and you will see that the chicken changes colour. This is the soy sauce and the honey taking effect. And that is done. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to turn that off the heat, let it cook in its own heat. And what I've got here, what I've got here is, I've just got some rice that I had from earlier, uh, earlier prepared. Sorry about this. And it's nice to present things really nicely as well. So perhaps you can get a small plate, big plate, turn the plate around. How does it say in French? Voila. Oh, it looks nice. It looks looks a bit different as if you know you you're taking you know some effort about things. Got more body space. And then all you do is you can add your chicken pieces on top or on the sides, like so. You know, so it, you know, so it looks nice, you know, it's a, it's something that you've taken care about. Me, you know, we're not Michelin star chefs. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a start. Oh, oops, there you go. That's my fault. You know, a few chicken pieces here and there. You know, your garnish. Make sure you've got some chili. You know, at the end. I mean, it looks uh, it looks nice. Sorry for throwing that on the It's very on me actually. And just some chilies at the end. Pick up that piece of chicken, get rid of that. And there we have it. Yummy Yorkshire chicken. With spring onions, garlic, chilli, alhamdulillah. You know, and I really encourage you to try and make this dish at home. It's so easy, I mean, it's probably taken about 
10 minutes cooking time, maybe more because you know I've been talking, I'm very talkative, but you know, enjoy the dish and uh, I hope to see you tweeting it to us and Facebooking it to us. Jazakallah khair for tuning in, uh, make the offers all and we'll see you in the next episode. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.